Hi, so in this video we are going to learn about squares and square root. So I have noted down two statements on the screen. First statement says when a number is multiplied to itself we get its square. And the second statement says the first number is called the square root of the second number. So if I take 2 and to find its square what I have to do? The definition of square is when a number is multiplied to itself we get its square. So if we want to find the square of 2 we have to multiply 2 by itself that is 2 multiplied by 2 and this is written as 2 to the power 2. 2 is getting repeated 2 times so that will be written as 2 to the power 2 where this 2 is the value of this number right and this 2 is the number of repetitions right so it actually represents 2 is getting multiplied by itself 2 times right so that is why it is written as 2 to the power 2 and suppose if we have 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 here 2 is getting multiplied by itself 4 times so here it will be written as 2 to the power 4 4 is the number of repetitions and which number is getting repeated this 2 right 2 is getting multiplied by itself 4 times so we write it 2 to the power 4 so the square of 2 is actually 2 multiplied by 2 and that is written as 2 to the power 2 and the value of 2 to the power 2 or the square of 2 will be 2 to the 4 right so this is called the square of 2 and 2 is called the square root of 4 right and square root is represented by this sign this is called root or square root and if I write a number below this this is called the square root of 4 and value of this will be 2 right so 4 is the square of 2 and 2 is the square root of 4 and now suppose if I take one more number suppose if I want to find the square of 5 to find the square of 5 we have to multiply 5 by 5 right and here this 5 is appearing two times so it will be written as 5 to the power 2 and this is also called yes square of 5 and the value of this will be 5 5 is 25 right so square of 5 is 25 and square root of 25 is equal to 5 right yes but here we have one twist in this if we multiply 5 by 5 we get 25 right at the same time when I multiply minus 5 by minus 5 then also I get 25 right so when we are finding the square root of any positive number we will actually get two values one will be positive and another will be negative right like in this case I am getting plus 5 and another value I am getting as minus 5 right so what is the difference over here here actually if we talk about their absolute value both of them are actually 5 so if we find the square root of any number we are going to get two square roots where one of them will be positive and one of them will be negative but their absolute value will be same like absolute value of plus 5 is equal to absolute value of minus 5 is equal to 5 right but usually when we talk about square root we mostly talk about the positive number only in lower classes and when we go to higher classes we take care of the negative values also right so right now yes we haven't reached till there where we need to take care of negative values so we are going to take only the positive value of square root and now we are going to learn how to find square root using prime factorization see here this 25 and earlier as we have taken 4 both of them are small numbers and if we know the tables we can directly find the square roots of these numbers but suppose if I have a number like 
576. It is a big number and now if I want to find the square root of 576, it will be very difficult, right? Because we know tables only till 9 and 10. 9 nines are 81 and this is way bigger than 81. So what to do? Yes, you can know the table till 9 or 10 and still you can find the square root of any given number using the method which I am going to teach you next. And this method is called the prime factorization method, right? So what I am going to do is I am going to take 576. This is the number for which we need to find the square root. So I am going to find prime factors of this number. First we draw a vertical line and then we draw a horizontal line, right? And then we check for its divisibility, right? And we try to find the smallest possible prime number by which it is divisible. So first we have to check with 2. And the number 576 has 6 at its units place which is an even number. So it will be divisible by 2. So if I divide it by 2, 2 twos are 4, 2 eights are 16 and 2 eights are 16. And again we have 8 at units place so it can again be divided by 2. So if I divide it by 2, 2 ones are 2, 2 fours are 8, 2 fours are 8. Right? And again it can be divided by 2. So 2 sevens are 14, 2 twos are 4 and again it has 2 at units place which is an even number. So again it can be divided by 2, 2 threes are 6, 2 six are 12. Right? And once again we have got an even number. So it will be divisible by 2. 2 ones are 2. 2 eights are 16. 2 nines are 18. And now we have got 9. 9 is an odd number so it will not be divisible by 2. But yes, it is divisible by 3. So 3, 3 is 9. And 3, 1 is 3. So we have got factors of 576. 576 can be written as 2 multiplied by 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 2. We have noted down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 twos. And here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 twos. And after this we have 2 threes. Yes. So the prime factors of 576 is 6 times 2 and 2 times 3. And now what we want to find? We want to find the square root of this number. So if I take the square root of this number, what I have to do? So let's work backwards. What is a square? Square of a number is the result when a number gets multiplied by itself, right? And the first number is called the square root of the second number. This is the definition, right? So to find the square root, what we have to do? Yes, I will take only one number out of two. So for that, I'll make pairs of all the factors in such a way that each pair has only the same number. So in this pair, we have two twos. Here we have two twos. And in this pair also we have two twos. But in this pair, we have two threes. So definitely it's possible to find the square root of 576 and the square root will be yes. Out of these two, I'll note down only one because that is what the definition of square root is, right? And out of these two, I'll note down only one and out of these two, I'll note down only one and then out of these two threes, I'll note down only one three, right? So this will be the square root of 576. Yes, we'll cross-check our result. So the result over here will be 2 twos are 4, 4 twos are 8, 8 threes are 24. Right? So as per this method, 24 should be the square root of 576. Right? Yes. And do you want to cross-check it? I'll cross-check. I'll cross-check it over here. So if 24 is the square root of 576, then when 24 gets multiplied by 24, we should get 576, right? 4 fours are 16, 1 carried forward, 4 twos are 8 plus 1 9, 2 fours are 8 and 2 twos are 4. And then if I add this, I'll get 6. 
8 plus 9 is 17. 1 carried forward, 4 plus 1 is 5. So, 24 is the square root of 576. So, when we are finding the square root, we are making the pair of two two factors each. And both the factors in each pair should be the same. Right? You can't make pair of 1, 2 and 1, 3. Pairing of 2 can be done with 2 only and pairing of 3 can be done with 3 only. And the secret lies here because the square of a number is the number multiplied by itself. So when we are finding the square root, we have to find the pair of same numbers. And if we take 1 out of that, we will get the square root. Right? Or if you want to see it one more way, it actually can be written as, if I raise this, and this can be written as 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3. I am taking this 2 from here, this 2 from here, this 2 from here, and this 1, 3 from here. And this whole thing multiplied by this 2 multiplied by this 2 multiplied by this 2 multiplied by this 3 right yes and now you have got the same number multiplied by the same number and one of these number will be the square root of the whole number so I can discard this by finding the square root and again I'll get the same number 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2, multiplied by 3, 2 to the 4, 4 to the 8, and 8 3 to the 24. So I think it's clear to you now why we make pairs of numbers and both the numbers in the pair should be equal. Right? So this is the method how we find square roots of a number using prime factorization method. And after this we are going to learn how to find the cube roots of a number using prime factorization method.